Hi folks, what I've got here is Mission 72 of Battle Box, and we're going to check it out right now on Kitbashed Survival. So for those who don't know, Battle Box is a subscription box service, and once a month you get a box that has sort of survival, outdoors, camping, bushcraft sort of gear and blah 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 if you don't like these types of boxes well that's your problem not mine i think these are a lot of fun it's kind of like christmas day once a month and you never know what you're going to get now the previous mission mission 71 was really really good if you haven't seen that video go watch it so we'll see how mission 72 stacks up oops And there we go. So here's the Mission 72 briefing. It's got a nice photo on the front. And just like any other battle box, there are four levels. So there's the basic box, the advanced box, the pro box, and then the pro plus box, which is the knife of the month. So let's see what we've got. So there are two items in the basic box for Mission 72, and one of them is a knife. That's kind of a bonus. You get two knives in Mission 72. So the knife in the basic box is a Revolt Knives Raptor Survival Neck Knife designed by Russ Comer. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, little neck knife, very cool. So the cord is fire cord, according to the description. So it's got that fire cord stuff inside and there's a ferro rod right here, not bad. It's got a nice molded sheath. It's got a nice little silicone safety thing there. And there it is. The Revolt Raptor Survival. Nice, yeah, it feels good in the hand. It's got a little jimping up here. Feels like micarta scales. Got a little lanyard hole back here. Yeah, not bad at all. Let's see if it'll shave. Oh yeah, it's sharp. Yeah, I like this. Nice little sheath. And nice little safety there. I've got mine set up for left-handed use, but you can switch this around for right-handed use if you want to. The Revolt Raptor Survival Neck Knife. Very cool, I like it. The second item in the basic box is not quite as exciting as the neck knife, but it's still pretty cool. It's a three pack of these Trioral Oral Rehydration Salts. And these are meant to help with dehydration. And these are a really nice thing to have in any survival or emergency kit and they're made by Adventure Medical Kits. And as you'll see, this is one of several first aid type items in Mission 72. Usually there's a theme with each mission and it seems that with Mission 72, it's got kind of a first aid theme as you'll see in just a moment. Oh, my mistake, there are three items in the basic box this month and this is item number three. It's the Outdoors Knot Cards, Camping and Backpacking Knots by Reference Ready. A portable and durable guide to the 22 most useful camping and backpacking knots includes a mini carabiner. Ooh, let's go ahead and open it up. And you've probably seen these before. It's just a quick reference to common knots. And these are more handy than you might think. I mean, I really don't remember every single knot off the top of my head. And you know, if you're willing to have the weight of this little card thing when you go backpacking, well, you've got some nice knot references here. Very cool. Oh, and don't forget the free carabiner. <laughs> there we go. Up next, we've got the advanced box and there are two items this month and they're both first aid kits. And these are made by Adventure Medical Kits. So we've got the Day Tripper Light, two people for one day. 
And we've got the hiker, two people for two days. So we'll take a look at one of these. So let's see what's in the hiker. That's the larger of the two. Wound care, burn, and blister. Stop bleeding fast over here. Medication, cuts and scrapes. And they've got a list of all the gear on the back. So we've got a wilderness first aid manual, EMT shear, seven sterile dressings, one elastic bandage, a gauze bandage, tape one inch by 2.5 yards, 14 moleskins pre-cut and shaped, then we've got some medication, afterbite wipes, aspirin, antihistamine, ibuprofen, and acetaminophen. We've got the stuff to stop bleeding fast, a trauma pad, and two nitrile gloves. <laughs> then we've got some stuff for cuts and scrapes, splinter tick remover, forceps, easy access bandages, butterfly closures, antiseptic wipes, triple antibiotic ointment, alcohol swab, safety pin, and a register your kit card. I think it's funny that the registration card is listed as part of the kit. There's something poking out here. I guess it's probably the wound shears. Let me see. Yeah. They've got these shears in here and they're kind of poking out the side. Oh well. Well, they've really got this thing packed tight. I'm going to have to work on that a little bit. But yeah, not bad. Two first aid kits, the Day Tripper Light and the Hiker. Moving on to the Pro Box, there was one item and it's this, the Cali Loja Ultralight Camping Chair. <laughs> I'm not sure about ultralight, but it is a camping chair. Let's check it out. So here's the Cali Loja Camping Chair all set up. The setup was very easy and it is lightweight. It weighs just over two pounds. I wouldn't call that ultralight, but I would call it lightweight. And when I sit in it, it's pretty comfortable. I like it. Now, I wouldn't take this on a serious backpacking trip with me because it's not ultra light and it's also very bulky. I have much better lightweight seating options that I take with me when I'm backpacking. But you know, for just hanging out in the driveway or tailgating or car camping, this would be a great option. Finally, we come to the Pro Plus box, which is the knife of the month. And for Mission 72, it's the Palawan Blade Bakuku style knife. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am. And it looks like a really big knife, like a machete or something. There it is. Palawan blade. Feels nice. It's 5CR stainless steel, according to the description. Hollow grind. It's got a nice grip. Here's that sheath. It's got some stuff on there. Yeah, I mean, it's got a good weight to it. You could do some chopping with this thing. So yeah, not bad. I'll add it to my large blade slash machete collection. <laughs> I'll go outside and do some bushwhacking with this thing. Kind of cool. All right, so here's all the stuff from Battle Box Mission 72. All in all, I think it was a pretty solid mission. It wasn't as exciting as missions 71 or 70, but that's okay. You know, when you have these subscription box services, uh, they do sort of rise and fall, and some boxes are better than others. I mean, they can't all be home runs, but I still think this is a very solid outing, and it's got some very useful stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel. This is Kitbashed Survival. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.